Hi guys, today we will be exploring how men and women age differently. Have you ever noticed that a man in his 60s has a lot less wrinkles and a lot less sagging in his face compared to a woman of the same age? Well, there is a scientific reason behind it. Now, I want to give a little disclaimer. I'm not a plastic surgeon nor a doctor. However, I am very passionate about aging, anti-aging, plastic surgery, and facial anatomy. Therefore, I know what I'm talking about. And also, I have done a lot of research and I will show you actually some experiments that actually back up what I'm saying. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Now, before I address the elephant in the room, which is going to be menopause, which usually comes for a woman in her 50s, I actually want to talk about other factors that also affect why men actually age slower. So, first off, did you know that men actually have 20% higher concentration and thickness of collagen in their skin compared to a woman from birth? Yeah, I know. Uh, 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 no, no. So this is one of the reasons why women age a lot faster. If you didn't know, collagen is literally what is keeping our skin youthful, plump looking. It's the building block of our skin along with elastin. So truly, the less collagen you have, the more wrinkles you're going to get. Now, this difference is not perceptible and noticeable when we're young just because our skin still has plenty of collagen for us to keep it looking young. However, the more we age, Actually, at age 25, that is when our collagen production levels start to decrease. For men and for women, that is where this difference in collagen density will start to show more and more. Now, as I already said, not only do men tend to get less wrinkles, but they also tend to get less sagging in the face. So, for example, right here in the lower for the face, where we have the jawline, the chin, the DAO muscle, the neck muscles, and that is actually believed to be because they have hair follicles, the beard follicles, whereas women, they don't. And really those hair follicles, think of them as like scaffolding for buildings. They basically give a lot more support to the skin compared to women where their hair follicles, they are present. However, they're a lot less strong and a lot less beard-like. The third reason why women age a lot faster than men is to do with oil glands and oil production levels. Now, if you didn't know, the oil glands and sweat glands in men are a lot more active compared to the one in women. That is why in PE, when we actually exercise, Size, men tend to sweat a lot more and they also tend to have a lot more greasier and oilier skin and actually if we link this to skincare we know the oily skin types actually tend to get a lot less wrinkles and a lot less aging down the line compared to someone with dry skin that is because that added moisture that added sebum and oil actually keeps their skin more hydrated moisturized and less crepier therefore hence less wrinkles so if we apply the same concept to the fact that men produce more oils we can see why men and actually get less wrinkles. Not only this, but also at age 20, our sebum production levels for both genders actually start to dip down and decrease. In men, they really see a minimal decrease in oil production and the most of that, it is age 80, so really down the line. Whereas for women, unfortunately, guess what it is? It is with menopause, so around age 50. So again, a lot sooner, so that also contributes over more and furthermore to that aging. Now, ladies, don't discourage yet. Please, no, take my hand. I feel your pain. However, not all hope is lost because actually, if we think of it, there are face oils that we can use in our skin that basically emulate and replicate what sebum in our skin can do. For example, I love to use three face oils in particular. First one being rose seed oil. That is actually the nature's retinol. It is said to have the same properties as retinol, even though much less effective and much less potent. However, it does still work, so that could be one of them. Also, marula oil, super high hydrating, moisturizing, and beautiful for the skin. And lastly, one of my favorites is jojoba oil. That is the closest oil that there is in nature to the sebum in our skin. So truly, that is really going to emulate and replicate what sebum can do for our skin. Especially if you're a woman and you have dry skin, you are the most in danger of this. So maybe do consider implementing jojoba oil or any oil, in fact, in your skincare routine. That might very well help. Uh, we'll pass it in the house and then we'll negotiate as we go forward. Uh, but what this is, is what this country needs. Now, the fourth reason before I actually deep dive into menopause is to do with having children and having babies. Now, as I'm sure we all know, pregnancy is really kind of bad for a woman's physique and a woman's shape of the body because it really stretches out, especially in the tummy area, the skin. That is why, for example, a lot of celebrities like Kim Kardashian tend to get surrogate moms so that they don't ruin their physique. However, not only that, but a study done by the Northwestern University has shown that 
actually during pregnancy a woman ages twice as fast at cellular level so basically the the cells in general they age twice as fast and this is logically if you think about it is literally because when a woman is pregnant she has to sustain another human another life in her so basically that is a lot of fatigue and that is a lot of strain put on a woman's body that is why unfortunately they age twice as fast so if you don't want to age as fast maybe stick to having only one child that might be a little bit of a you know unconventional solution or once again get a surrogate <laughs> No. <laughs> Let me go beat my eggs. Let me go beat my eggs. <laughs> Okay, ladies, now I'm gonna need you to focus because I'm actually going to start addressing the elephant in the room, which is going to be menopause. So actually, I have my notes right here. And the first thing I wanna show you is this graph in the study made in 2019. So first thing, as we can see on the y-axis, which is the vertical line, we can see facial aging rate. On the x-axis, which is the horizontal one, we can see mean age. Now, if we take a look at age 40 to around age 50, we can see that for female and male, the rate at which their face age Ages is quite similar. For females, it is higher. However, it is still parallel to the one to a male. However, at around age 33, we can see a huge spike in female, and that is due to actually menopause and loss of estrogen. If you guys didn't know, estrogen for a woman is truly what keeps the skin structure intact. It, once again, as I already said before, it also is responsible for sebum production levels as well as skin hydration. So when a woman enters menopause, she starts to lose so much estrogen and this is basically just a rippling effect onto the skin. So as you can see, there is a huge spike, whereas for men, there's nothing. It just is straight. Up until around age 50, 56, 57, I want to say, and then it starts slowly decreasing too. Now, that decrease doesn't mean that your skin reverses back and goes back to the youthful self. No, 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 no. This, you have to keep in mind, is facial aging rate. So, all this means is that after around age 56, your skin will actually start to stabilize and also all the aging due to that loss of estrogen will have taken place. Therefore, the aging rate will slowly start to decrease. However, once again, for male and for female it is going to start going back up after around age 65 and that is normal due to aging. So truly menopause and this loss of estrogen is the main contributing factor as to why female actually age a lot faster compared to men. I also want to show you the, this picture of how a man's face ages compared to a woman. As you can see at around age 70 or also age 90 for a man there is a lot of structure still intact in the face. There's not a lot of sagging at all whereas for a woman's face we can see that again around age 70 uh, but especially around age 90 the cheeks start to sag but also especially the lower third as I already said so the jawline the neck and that is because of the hair follicles but also because of bones and muscles in men these bones and muscles tend to be a lot more stronger and a lot more bigger and stronger therefore they can hold the structure of the skin a lot better however ladies please before you go ahead and sign that group suicide pact I have good news for you actually in that study it didn't account for when and women taking care of the skin. So all those projections were actually made for women and men who did not take care of their skin, who didn't have an anti-aging skincare routine in place. So once again, keep in mind, if you do have an anti-aging skincare routine, that curve for women will not be flattened and nor for men. However, it will definitely be decreased. That rate of aging in the face will definitely be decreased. So truly, this is where anti-aging skincare 101 comes perfectly in handy. So let's remember the most important parts of an anti-aging skincare routine. Sunscreen every day because the sun is one of the most contributing factor into aging for the skin, for both genders, for all races, for everything. Mind you, remember to put sunscreen every day. 90% of facial aging in the skin is due to sun exposure. You guys, that is crazy. Another thing is vitamin A. Retinol is the only proven ingredient in skincare to reduce the size of aging. So not only compact them, but reverse them. This is crucial. Vitamin A, especially prescription retinols, are going to be your best friend. Yes, retinols over the counter, like for example, the Ordinaries, Drunk Elephant, Pola's Choice, those are also going to be very effective. However, not as much as the prescription one. And lastly, I have to say vitamin C, peptides, and all these other anti-aging ingredients do not have enough 
research and backup to really show and prove that they are true anti-aging king like retinol is because actually some studies have shown that vitamin C becomes denatured and ineffective as soon as it touches contact with your skin and the oxygen exposure because it is an antioxidant therefore it doesn't like oxygen and also peptides they're a very new thing in skincare therefore there still is not enough research to really claim it however I have used both and I currently use both in my skin routine and let me tell you I have seen amazing results so I don't see why not try it and spin the dice you might as well use them and maybe if in the future they confirm to be amazing for the skin hey you were already on the board. So ladies, this was the skincare part. However, if you watch my channel, you know for sure that skincare, unfortunately, is only half of the game. You still have to play the other 50%, and that is going to be lifestyle and your lifestyle choices in general. So for example, as I'm sure we all know, exercising is amazing for us, not only for keeping our body tight and in shape and sexy, but also for our skin, because it really removes the toxins in our body in general. So it's gonna keep our skin looking more youthful. On top of that, I'm sure we we all know smoking and drinking are the devil when it comes to aging, especially if we want to slow down that aging rate. Because you guys, if you didn't know, studies show that actually even only 14 units of alcohol a week, which keep in mind is basically seven glasses of wine in a week or one glass of wine a day, any more than that is actually going to result you in aging twice as fast. That is so crazy. Another thing that I want to point your attention to is pay attention to sugars and it's Especially fizzy drinks those are the devil because you guys there has been a study that shows that even drinking only 250 ml of coke a day that is basically just one can is going to make you look five years older and make you age five years faster than what you actually will look like that just goes to show how bad sugars are for your skin because they actually increase a process called glycation and therefore more inflammation in your body which essentially is breakdown of collagen also on top of that dairy also increase that glycation and breakdown of collagen in your skin and inflammation in general but if you want to know more of what foods and lifestyle choices in general I actually have a whole entire playlist that truly goes through in this in a more like fun way and interactive way because they actually react to celebrities diets what they eat in a day right here like for example Kylie Jenner I also did Tiffany Haddish Dr. Mike and truly in that playlist I go through what foods they're eating that contribute to making them look good or making them look bad and that will affect affect the way they age in the future so that is so interesting to me to my ladies watching I want to say I know this was a hard punch to your soul honestly I feel kind of like a woman inside not gonna lie however I didn't want to come here empty-handed and just give you the bad news so I also tried to incorporate some solutions that you could use so once again let's go back to it first of all apply an oil in your skin routine that is going to make you look more youthful and contrast that sebum loss that you're going to have after menopause another a solution that is very much unconventional I will admit is using a surrogate or sticking to having an only child definitely if you don't want to age too much then definitely don't pop out more than one child because that is definitely going to be bad and it's going to speed up that aging process do you see how that's incredibly offensive yes I do that's why I said it and lastly, pay attention to using sunscreen, vitamin A, retinol, especially prescription retinols. If you are more into that menopause stage or you are approaching it, 30s, 40s, definitely use a prescription retinol. If you are in your 20s, in your early 30s, mid 30s, I don't feel the need like you should get it. Definitely late 30s, 40s and up, definitely get yourself on a prescription retinol. And lastly, also pay attention to the lifestyle choices. I've actually become sober and I'm 20 because I want to prevent that aging. Cut it from the start. So don't drink, don't smoke. That is just Disgusting. And finally, try staying away from foods that increase your inflammation and glycation levels in your body. So for example, refined carbohydrates, like for example, white pasta, white bread. Try sticking to brown pasta and brown bread. Also sugars, that is definitely a no-no, as well as dairy. Try instead eating, for example, dairy-free products, like for example, vegan yogurt, vegan milk, soy milk. All those alternatives are gonna be amazing and honestly taste the same. If you are still watching, ma'am, and you are new here, this was the first video that you saw me trust me here we are all about preventing this aging thing this disgusting curse that god decided to give to the humanity truly what was the point god i don't get you sometimes i truly don't you done lost your damn mind when you get your damn mind you call me but anyways if you enjoy skincare maybe you are struggling with getting your skin routine down to a t-girl this is the place for you what you should do is subscribe to the bug because you don't miss any of my up
uploads because I would love to see you coming back and actually join the random family Mwah! and also if you maybe want to see a little bit more behind the scene of what is going on more in my life then what you should do is actually follow me on my Instagram as well because there you will see a lot more that you're not seeing here as well it's just I'm keeping the same energy there so if you like what you see here you're definitely gonna like me there but also if you have any skin issues in general that you want me to help you out with don't hesitate to DM me I would love to help you out but anyways to my randoms who are still watching did you enjoy this new series that I just started I'm so excited because I am so in love with plastic surgery with aging with human anatomy honestly I feel like I should start taking some courses to really get a degree of some sort or something because this is the true path for me I know this but anyways to my randoms who are still watching you know what time of the video is out it's time for the Italian word of the video and since the video was all about unfortunately how women age faster than men and one of the biggest factors contributing to this is actually menopause the Italian word of the video is actually going to be menopausa which is menopause in English I feel like the British people definitely stole that from the Italians because menopausa menopause it definitely sounds very much similar yeah, excuse me ma'am what do you think you're doing do not click out of this video because yes this might be ending however you do not want to watch these videos recommended by YouTube YouTube does not know what you want what you want is to watch one of these two they're just gonna be as funny as entertaining and whatever this was for you but oh remember to be random and always be random while you're doing that however I swear click one of them two right now or I will get a funnel and I will shove down your throat alcohol so you age instantly boom 50 years taken down please click <laughs>